Merci d'avoir parlé. Hein? Merci d'avoir parlé. Yeah. Yeah, another my view tv exclusive please remember to hit the notification bell like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything what you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience wait it's simple me one well, my people, hope everybody know okay, hope everybody you know right. Remember me they come and tell them about a little shooting incident on a rima. Anyway, me deal with it right now. 62 year old Philip Lee of Upper First Street, Change Town in Kingston was shot and killed, and two other persons shot and injured at intersection of Upper Street and Third Street on Tuesday, April 20. Report from the Denham Town Police that at about 8.15 pm Lee was amongst a group of persons standing in the area when a white motor vehicle drove up to the location. Minutes later, two Two men armed with handguns jumped from the vehicle, open gunfire hitting Lee and two other victims. The gunmen made an escape. The waiting motor vehicle. Hold on the now, people. See the people them around the other side of them know a hook and them know a little while we are going around there amongst man and man. So you see them now come out, come call the name of Black no Street for innocent people. And innocent people get shot. Me tell you, you know what? Met say for them look a criminal friend, them police is slap way. I see them out of road in them numbers, tens and thousands are going in a bag of things, but no. No, 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 they're not with these innocent people. Upon the arrival of the lawman, Lee and two other persons were discovered suffering from gunshot wound and were rushed to the hospital where Lee was pronounced dead. Other victims were treated and admitted. Yeah, man, a woman get shot in her foot and them something that she all right. But me tell you no. Criminal always know how to hide criminal. Not for other people around there are criminal. And me, I don't know that. The three year old Simon Williams, otherwise called Sasa, a maintenance worker of Wildman Street, was shot and killed on Monday, April 19. Report from the Central Police at about 10 45 pm. Long after curfew hours, Williams was at his home. He was pounced upon by armed who opened gunfire, hitting him several times. The gunman made an escape on foot in the area while the police were summoned by residents who heard the gunshot. Upon the arrival at the scene, Williams was discovered lying in a pool of blood with multiple gunshot wound to his upper body seen as process and the body was removed to the morgue for a post-mortem examination let me tell you something now the people them know who the people them know who because nobody from outside go in there so go do not no and them see a one hour amongst them one that for what i don't know because no gold mine no down there no no gold mine is down there so make them go and kill off them one and police just allow them to angle them bangle and when them get drop out just roll in and two man just hold them by the man and them foot and fling them in the back and carry them down on the mark and them sitting there yeah man that you don't want and that you don't want to get it's like if you don't talk about the case them them not hurry up and try them and just the other day I said to the people them say we really are going to that case how them are take so long for me the people them know it really happened the Jamaica defense force corporal who pulled his weapon on his wife and a policeman yes a soldier pulled him gun on the wife and the policeman who was found in a compromising position at their home in Greater Portmore St. Catherine has been convicted Omar Williams from over Sita, yes 32 year old Omar Williams was today found guilty in the gun court of charges of common assault and illegal possession of firearm. The charges stem from report from his wife that he had pointed a gun at her during a domestic encounter on February 19, 2020. Members said them time they know people. Omar did for their work and a thief him thief and catch the police policeman and ride him wife. Me I tell you, Omar Williams head did mash up. William Bale was further extended for him to return to court in sentencing before Justice Brian Morris on May 17. At the same time, Williams, who was accused of shooting the policeman, was free of charges of shooting with intent and illegal possession of firearm. Those offenses were dismissed following a no-case submission by his attorney, Linton Gunn, 
at the end of the 10 day trial. The army man acted in self defense in the court. He argued that at about 11.30 on the night in question, when Williams did suppose up a camp because a member camp did under lockdown and him teeth out. Williams showed up at his home unexpectedly and found the policeman who was naked standing in the living room beside his wife who was dressed in lingerie now all right the man did not go ride it and the man did not ride it and read it me i tell her the truth paper she get right and she been getting right the soldier man then turned on the light and saw the policeman reach under a cushion that was nearby he went up to the cop hit him in his head and asked him what he was doing and saw that the gun was under the cushion the policeman then reached for his weapon and was shot in the shoulder by the army Corporal. The injured policeman was rushed to the hospital and the soldier was late arrested and charged. John was star, me tell you something. The man them too big and four full. The man them too big and four full. I said everybody over JD for laugh half five. The man said, yo, this a boy I want big idiot. Everybody over there said, me I tell you the truth. Everybody over there laugh half five. If any just stay at work, you would see your wife I get right. I can't come out of the back of your head no time soon. You're going to live with that forever and ever and ever. You're going to continue seeing the man I put the rod by your wife. Okay? The St. Mary police has broke up at the legal party in Boscobel on Wednesday night, arresting 29 persons, including the promoter. Me tell you, you're not supposed to sacrifice them. Slap them away. They have been charged under the Disaster Risk Management Act. Inspector Nicola Lewis of the St. Mary Police Division told us that the promoter turned himself in after the operation. Inspector Lewis said the police went to Boscobel after receiving information about the party. She said the vehicles were parked at the vent. They just ran at the site of the police. The sound system and the liquors were seized. Wally Param, the police, them are drink right now. Inspector Lewis said the police has been shutting down the legal part in the parish daily and they are really trying their best to put a clamp on these activities. Let me tell you why the people never going to continue doing this party and keeping this party. Because we now do the same thing over and over again. We now arrest them, carry them behind bars for like about two hours and then let them out. Uno are going to let them out. The people them know say that we're not going to do so. Why do you feel like the people them are stop party? Bet say for the start sacrifice some of them. Uno see the people tap up on the road. Follow my method. Follow my method. Make a move from right there so I'm going over Spanish door now. Eh? Yes, sir, man. Yo! Watch him, Twenty-eight Afghan goat were charged for a breach of the Disaster Risk Management Act after police were forced to discontinue an illegal party in Spanish town on Wednesday night. The police said several persons jumped onto rooftop in a bid to escape them. I'm telling them, who pan them? I can go them. I can go them. Police them need to slap them. I'm telling them the truth. Them are people here. Nah, here if you're not here, you're supposed to feel. Me tired for come and tell them the same thing. Who not here, supposed to feel. Remember, tell a friend, tell another friend, come and check us out. All right, remember, so the news, I'm not company news. I'm here, I'm going to know where I'm going, you know. Yeah.